So I'll start off with probably the most special jigsaw. This here, shiny fish. This is an actual wooden jigsaw. I haven't opened this one up as yet. I'll do a, I'll do a special jigsaw. Oh wow. So these are the pieces. That's like a little parrot, all different shapes. Oh, I can't wait to do that. I'll probably vi I'll videotape this one. They're all, look, they're all shaped like there's a little turtle. Anyway, that one he had to order specially online and came, I believe, all the way from Russia. So that, that one there is a very, very special jigsaw for me and I will keep that one forever and a day. Okay, next one. Butterflies. So this one here is a 750 piece jigsaw. So even he said that he liked this one and after I do it he'll probably give it a go. He doesn't mind doing jigsaws either. So it's always handy when you have a partner who likes to do jigsaws as well. This one here was originally marketed in I think the 60s or 70s as the hardest jigsaw in the world and I think it's going to be very difficult to do. So, a thousand piece Jackson Pollock piece of artwork. So, I'll probably wait a while to do this one because I know that that will be hard to do. So, I'm so thrilled that he was able to track that one down for me. These next two, again, are ones that I've seen online. So, you use 3D glasses to see the different the different pictures depending as to what it is that you want to do. So these ones are smaller jigsaw. They're only 500 pieces, but they're going to be quite difficult to do, I believe. So this particular one is, looks like African animals. So there's elephants and other creatures on it. So that's that one. What does it say? Does it, jungle, hmm. jungle jigsaw. So that's the jungle. And then there's an ocean. So they say you can do these as three separate jigsaws. I'll probably just do it as, as, as the one. Don't know whether I'll do it with the 3D glasses or not because I have trouble with that sort of thing. Thousand piece. King of the jungle. Very colourful. Looking forward, looking forward to doing that one. This one here. This is quite funny. He's very good at buying the jigsaws, but with this one, I went, oh, it looks, looks, looks a little familiar. I'm sure I've seen it. And he went, no, 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 I've checked all your jigsaws. You you don't have that one. And I went, oh, are you sure? And I went, I went and looked in my jigsaw cupboard and sure enough, I did have it. So he's actually going to take that one, take that one back. But it has been a couple of years since I did that. Okay, I might actually do this one first because I find that this is a very... Very nice picture. Healthy veggies. And being Boxing Day, the day after Christmas here in Australia, staring at some healthy veggies is probably a good way to go. So this might be my jigsaw of the day. This is 299 cats. 300 pieces. So this jigsaw, I believe, all cat shaped. So the quality of that one doesn't look all that great, but the novelty value, the novelty value of that one is, is gonna be is gonna be fun to do. Okay, let's get educational. Who wants to learn the periodic table? I didn't do chemistry or physics in high school, so it will be interesting to see if I pick up what the periodic table is. I know I know some of them. Um, but learning them could be interesting and educational. Next one. Traditional Mexican skulls. Very, very colourful. Bit Day of the Dead. Um, might have to watch Coco the movie while I do this one, maybe. Uh, looking forward to doing that one too. I do like my jigsaws to have lots of bright colours in them. And the last one, again, this is one that I've been looking at for a while. 
and he knew it so he tracked this one down too so this is a beautiful gradient puzzle so i'm really looking forward to doing that one so they're all my jigsaws that i got for christmas as i said i was very spoilt that he went and got all these jigsaws um on a on a side note i actually bought him two jigsaws because i said he doesn't mind doing them either so these are actually his that i bought for him so he's got a mediterranean harbor which is a thousand piece puzzle and then he has a much larger one to do which is this one here which is called course to the Tre course to the treasure so that's his to do 1500 pieces so he's going to be taking up the dining room table doing these and i'll do mine on my normal probably probably jigsaw board okay they're my jigsaw boards now i'm going to go have some fun